On May 31st, 2004, Ken Anissa Bekele broke the world record in the 5,000 meters by running a time of 12 minutes, 37.35 seconds. This time broke the previous mark of 12 minutes, 39.36 seconds, previously held by the great Haile Gaber Selassie. This excellent performance marked the seventh occasion over nine years that the 5,000 meter world record had been broken, and it seemed as though the 12 minute and 30 second barrier was rapidly approaching. However, this incredible 1237 has now stood for over 15 years, with very few athletes even approaching this time. In this video, we'll be taking a closer look at Kenanisa Bekele's running career and exactly what he did in order to run this historic 1237. And if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any great running content. Thanks and enjoy the video. Kenanisa Bekele was born on June 13, 1982, in the small town of Bakoji, Ethiopia. This small town has since been labeled the Little Town of Champions, for many Olympic and World Championship medalists were born here, including Tiranish Dababa, who holds the 5,000 meter world record of 14 minutes and 11 seconds, and also Durartu Tulu, who's won a total of five World Championship and Olympic medals. Considering the small town's population, it's pretty incredible that so many medalists have come from here. Bekele was first introduced to running when he was in ninth grade, and at the young age of 16, he went on to play sixth in the Ethiopian Junior Cross Country Championships. This impressive performance led to Bekele being invited to join the Mugur Cement Factory team, then coached by Tolosa Kotu, a previous Olympian for Ethiopia in the 1970s. After joining this new training program, Bekele immediately began to show great promise as a distance runner. In 1999, Bekele went on to place ninth at the World Junior Cross Country Championships, and he also went on to place second in the 3,000 meters in the World Youth Championships. Moving forward to 2001, Bekele jumped up to the senior level at the World Cross Country Championships, where he managed to place second over the shorter senior distance, only finishing behind Anak Koic of Kenya. The following day, Bekele decided to again jump into the junior men's race, where he cruised to an effortless win with an incredible 33 second margin of victory. Bekele's fantastic cross-country performances and his super quick track and field times made him one of the rising stars in distance running, but nobody was prepared for what happened the following year. In 2002, Bekele again entered the World Cross Country Championships in excellent fitness. Building up to these championships, Bekele hadn't lost a single race all year, and right from the start, he asserted himself in the lead. Just after seven minutes of running, Bekele decided to make a long but calculated surge for the finish line. This decisive move was absolutely breathtaking. Bekele, who was still only 19 years of age, was striding away from the best distance runners in the world, and he was making it look effortless. His performance was so incredible that even the announcers expressed that he would likely go on to win the first ever short and long course senior cross country double. After an effortless win in the shorter distance, Bekele put his eyes on the longer distance the following day. And after running comfortably up front for around 27 minutes, Bekele again made his move and effortlessly floated away from the field. This incredible double made Bekele the first athlete to ever win both the short and long courses at the same World Cross Country Championships. But amazingly, Bekele, who was still just 19 years old, was just getting started. From 2002 all the way up to 2006, Bekele would go on to accomplish the same historic double at the World Cross Country Championships. This feat made Bekele far and away the greatest men's cross country runner ever. In total, Bekele won 12 World Cross Country Championship medals, with 11 of them being gold. And although Bekele's cross country performances are absolutely legendary, his performances on the track may be even more impressive. In 
2003, Bekele would run for the first time at the World Track and Field Championships in Paris, France, where he would be competing in the 5,000 meters and the 10,000 meters. In the 5,000 meters, Bekele would go on to place third, finishing behind Hisham El Garouj of Morocco and the eventual winner, Elid Kipchoge of Kenya. In the 10,000 meters, Bekele would go on to win with a time of 26 minutes and 49 seconds, and he would also outlast his fellow countryman, Haile Gaber Selassie, who had been the premier 10,000 meter runner for the previous decade. This 10,000 meters was also significant because both Bekele and Gaber Selassie finished the second half of the race in under 13 minutes, a feat that had never been done before. With a final closing lap of 59 seconds and a final mile of 4 minutes and 4 seconds, Bekele had proven himself as the new face of the 10,000 meters. And while Bekele's finishing time and quick finish were both impressive, the fact that he outkicked Haile Geber Selassie was by far the most significant part of the race. To better understand the significance of this race, one must understand just how dominant Haile Geber Selassie had been for the previous 10 years. From 1993 to the year 2000, Gaber Selassie had won every Olympic and World Championship 10,000 meter final. In 1998, Gaber Selassie had also broken the 5,000 meter world record by running a time of 12 minutes, 39.36 seconds. And he also would go on to break the 10,000 meter world record by running a time of 26 minutes, 22.75 seconds. For a significant amount of time, Geber Selassie was virtually unbeatable over the 10,000 meter distance, and Bekele's victory in 2003 marked the official passing of the torch for 10,000 meter greatness. Kenanisa Bekele is a very unique runner. Both his strength and endurance go far beyond the reach of most athletes. However, his most powerful asset may very well be his finishing kick. For years and years, Bekele made a living by running a final lap of 53 seconds in both the 5K and the 10K. Sometimes Bekele would begin his finishing kick with exactly 400 meters to run, and other times, he would strategically wait until either 200 meters to run or maybe even 100 meters to go. This kick gave him incredible confidence in races, and virtually no one could match him with a lap to go. The following races are just a few examples of his finishing kick. In 2005, in the World Championship 10,000 meter final, Bekele ran a final lap of 54 seconds, with his final 200 meters being run in 24.5 seconds. In 2008, at the Olympic 5,000 meter final, Bekele closed his final 400 meters in a blistering 53 seconds. But what was perhaps even more breathtaking was that his final mile was run in 3 minutes and 58 seconds, eventually leading to an Olympic record time of 12 minutes 57.82 seconds. In 2009, at the World Championship 10,000 meter final, Bekele effortlessly accelerated away from Zersene Tedesi of Eritrea after a fast opening pace. And while his last lap was only 60 seconds, Bekele's acceleration was significant as he easily beat Tedesi and he also broke the 10,000 meter championship record with a time of 26 minutes, 45 seconds. Lastly, and again in 2009, Bekele's finish in the 5,000 meters was something to remember. In this race, we had Kenanisa Bekele of Ethiopia, Bernard Lagat of the United States, Elliot Kipchoge of Kenya, and also Mo Farah of Great Britain. These four athletes are known for their fast finishing kicks, so the race would likely come down to a sprint finish. With 400 meters to go, every athlete began to quickly accelerate. For the entire last lap, Bekele held strong in the lead, with others only pushing to see him accelerate back. However, with 100 meters to run, Bernard Lagat of the United States mounted a strong challenge against Bekele, only to see Bekele outlast him over the final 30 meters. This race was incredible because Bernard Lagat's finishing kick was very hard to beat, but somehow Bekele found it in him to outkick his American rival. These are just a few of Bekele's classic finishing kicks, and they all showcase his talents as a distance runner. Even though his distance running abilities appear to be a product of God-given talent, the training behind Kenanisa Bekele might be even more astonishing than his actual races. It should come as no surprise that in order to be the best 5,000 meter and 10,000 meter runner in history, you need to run with high intensity and high volume. 
Detailed here is a typical training week for Kenanisa Bekele back in 2004 before the Olympic Games in Athens. In total, Bekele ran around 130 miles each week, or about 210 kilometers. Bekele's training is unique because he includes regular high-intensity track workouts along with long runs that could potentially be over three hours in duration. This training actually outweighs Elid Kipchoge's total mileage for his marathon training, and this program was specifically designed for the 5,000 meters and the 10,000 meters. Now, it's somewhat unclear whether or not Bekele completed these three-hour long runs each week, but it is well documented that he completed these with regularity. And while these long runs are certainly impressive, his track workouts are near superhuman. Detailed here is a more in-depth analysis on Bekele's actual track workouts and the paces he would accomplish for each session. For his 6 by 800 meter workout session, Bekele would complete each rep in around 1 minute and 57 seconds. However, instead of running an even pace, Bekele would run his first lap in 64 seconds, then he would close his final lap in 53 to 54 seconds. For his 6 to 10 1,000 meter repeat workout, Bekele would complete each rep in 2 minutes and 27 seconds, and for his 3 by 2,000 meter workout, Bekele would accomplish this by running a 5 minute flat 2,000 meters. These paces are all quicker than 4 minutes per mile pace, and Bekele regularly ran them for many of his workouts. Indeed, Bekele's training program is one of legends, and very few have ever touched his combination of high volume and high intensity. In 2004, Bekele opened up his season with a new indoor 5,000 meter world record. His finishing time was 12 minutes, 49.60 seconds, which still stands today. This was Bekele's first world record, and his confidence only grew as the year continued. The following month, Bekele absolutely dominated the World Cross Country Championships in Brussels, Belgium. In similar fashion to the previous years, Bekele took both the short course title, and he also took the long course title. With his fitness level confirmed, Bekele entered the 2004 outdoor track season with high confidence. Given that this was an Olympic year, Bekele likely had his eyes set on the Olympic finals in Athens, Greece. But first, Bekele wanted to test his true fitness on the track. On May 31st, 2004, Bekele entered the 5,000 meters at a small track meet in Hengelo, Netherlands. This meet was organized as an official world record attempt as the Pacers were set to run each lap in just over 60 seconds. Coming into this race, the world record over the 5,000 meters was 12 minutes, 39.36 seconds, held by the great Haile Gebir Selassie of Ethiopia. With a new indoor 5,000 meter world record and yet another world cross country double, Bekele entered this race as the heavy favorite. As the race began, Bekele immediately separated himself from the rest of the field and tucked himself closely behind the two front pacers. Cruising through the 400 meter mark, Bekele passed through in just under 60 seconds, a solid pace for the first 400. For the next four laps, Bekele ran a 61.9, followed by a 62.5, then a 61.1, followed by a 60.5. This pace pulled Bekele through the mile in just around 4 minutes and 4 seconds, and at the 2000 meter mark, the last pacer dropped off, leaving Bekele up front in the lead. Bekele passed through the 2K mark in around 5 minutes and 5 seconds, which was just outside of world record pace. However, Bekele appeared full of running and managed to run his following 4 laps in 61.1, 60.9, 60.4, and for his 8th lap, he managed to run a 59.5, which pulled him back clearly under world record pace. At this point, Bekele was well over 100 meters ahead of his closest runner, and the world record was directly in his sights. For his ninth lap, Bekele ran a 60.4, followed by a 61 flat, and then a 61.2. With one lap to go, Bekele simply needed to run around 60 seconds to break Geber Selassie's world record of 12.39. With the world record in his sights and an excited crowd to help him home, Bekele bounced gracefully along the track with great speed and confidence. With 100 meters to go, Bekele again shifted gears and began powering down the home stretch. And with a final lap of 58 seconds, Bekele broke the tape in 12 minutes, 37.35 seconds, setting a new world record in the 5,000 meters. 
In a quick interview directly after his performance, Bekele said that the initial pace was a little slow, but he tried his best and now he's the new world record holder. This performance has now stood for over 15 years, with nobody breaking 12 minutes and 40 seconds ever since Bekele's world record. Following this phenomenal achievement, Bekele continued to dominate the racing circuit. That same year in 2004, Bekele would go on to break the 10,000 meter world record, and the following year in 2005, he would go on to break it again. In the 2004 Olympics, Bekele won the gold medal in the 10,000 meters, and he also placed second in the 5,000 meters behind a charging Hisham El Garouge. In the 2008 Olympic Games, Bekele was unbeatable in both the 5K and the 10K, and he also would go on to break the Olympic records in both events at these Olympics. After another 5,000 and 10,000 meter double at the 2009 World Track and Field Championships, Bekele returned to racing in February of 2010 by attending the Great Edinburgh Cross Country Invitational. At this race, Bekele placed an unexpected fourth behind three Kenyan athletes, and unfortunately, Bekele sustained a calf muscle strain from this race that sadly turned into a knee injury that kept him from racing for over a year. After a long and unfortunate racing absence, Bekele finally returned to racing at the 2011 World Track and Field Championships. Unfortunately, he was unable to finish the 10,000 meters and he also chose not to compete in the 5,000 meters. The next year, in the 2012 Olympic Games, Bekele was simply unable to match the closing speed of Great Britain's Mo Farah and he finished outside of the medals for the first time in his Olympic career. After a disappointing 2012, Bekele shifted his focus from the track to the roads. Initially, Bekele saw great success on the roads. He placed first at the Great North Run over Mo Farah, and he also set a new debut marathon record at the 2014 Paris Marathon with a time of 2 hours, 5 minutes, and 4 seconds. This marathon performance not only broke the debut record, but it also broke the previous record of the Paris Marathon. Following this marathon debut, Bekele would go on to run great times in the marathon. In 2016, Bekele won the Berlin Marathon with a time of 2 hours, 3 minutes, and 3 seconds, which was actually the second fastest marathon in history at the time. In 2017, Bekele would place second in the London Marathon with a time of 2 hours, 5 minutes, and 57 seconds. Over his marathon career, Bekele has unfortunately been riddled with injuries. For many of his marathon attempts, Bekele has either dropped out in the middle of the race or he's had to withdraw a few weeks before the race because of injury. And while his marathon career has been somewhat inconsistent, Bekele's track and cross country records are completely unmatched. To give you an idea of just how dominant he was, from 2003 all the way up to 2011, Bekele was undefeated over the 10,000 meter distance. Kenanisa Bekele is unquestionably one of the greatest 5,000 and 10,000 meter runners in history. But don't take it from me, take it from his world records, which have now stood for more than 15 years. Thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you all in the next video.